A very good morning, good evening and good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, whatever place it is you're tuned on to the Life Signatures Radio. This is a daily podcast focusing on the subjects of purpose, productivity and resilience. Purpose, productivity and resilience are three important aspects of life that I do think are forming the crux of the pillars for our success or lack of it. And uh, every single morning or day or afternoon or evening, whatever time you tuned on to the podcast, if you're subscribed, you will find that there is a podcast that is focusing on those three things by teaching, by motivating, by inspiring, by instructing. That is how I deploy that. We do that in the form of series. If it makes sense to you, please share it to as many people as you love. And if you wanted to contribute towards it, please do so in the show notes. There is a link that you can be able to click on it. We are in the middle of a series, my friends. We have been discussing. We've been talking about, guess what? We've been talking about the blockades, personal blockades in life. And we actually exhausted the five blockades that hinder our progress in life. What is a blockade? It is something that we believe as if it's a fact and yet it is not. And that belief puts limitations on what we can do, whom we can become, where we can go and what we can attain. We stand on our own way of succeeding because of this blockade. So we dealt with these blockades and I'm going to give you a recap. But today we're going to start talking about we're going to start talking about the seven signs that you can be able to see and be able to tell that there is a blockade in my life. So stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to talk about different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Let us do a recap so that we can be on the same page as far as this is concerned. And by the way, I'm going to invite you, if really you wanted to go deeper and you wanted to understand what I've been talking about, these blockades, you will really need to go back. If you've not listened to any episode, you need to go back way back to episode number 1912 and begin your journey of understanding blockades from there. This is like a book. And of course, this is just uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, sometimes 16 minutes of the episode. If you can put it on a autoplay so that just plays episode after episode, I'm sure in the space of two hours or so, you will have exhausted this and you will have obtained some kind of wisdom as far as that particular topic is concerned. That's why I love doing series. It gives me an opportunity to go 360 degrees on a particular message or a particular nugget so that we can understand it better so the recap is very high level seriously high level it doesn't go even deeper i'm just going to tell you that the first kind of a blockade we talked about was the mental blockade the second kind of blockade we talked about was the spiritual blockade the third one was the cultural blockade and the fourth we talked about the self-concept blockade and then we finished talking about the what was it? We finished talking about the experience blockade in the episode yesterday. Those three areas. And there maybe there could be more areas of blockades. Remember, blockades are not necessarily things that we know are there. For the most part, I'm leaning on the side that these are things that we are unconsciously 
I mean, they unconsciously limit us in our unconsciousness. For example, if you if you go to the cultural blockade, for instance, it tells you that the things have always been done this way and it's so automatic, you can't question it. And therefore, there is a limitation as far as that your life is concerned if it's placed in that particular culture. It's drawn a limit. You can't do this, you can't do that. I was listening to someone yesterday telling me that... Um, Growing up, their parents could not allow them to eat fish. You know why? Because they believe that fish comes from the water and it's just like a frog. Imagine. That's a cultural blockade. Okay. We are going to start discussing something, you know, in, in close, uh, crowning the whole thing. We're going to start discussing something else in the episode today. And we, we, will, we will be talking about the different signs... If you're interested, the different signs that there is a blockade existing in your life. This is important. How am I going to know that I am limited? I am unconsciously limited. Let me use, use that word. How am I going to know that I am unconsciously limited? Because to be forewarned is to be forearmed. That means that if I know that I'm, I'm limited in this way, then I can create or I can craft some of the remedies that I can be able to use. I can tell my mind, no, not anymore. And therefore I start chewing out or chipping away the roots of that particular blockade until at such a point in time that it is absolutely and totally arrested. One of the most debilitating hindrances to success are the things that we are unaware of. You are unaware that there is an amoeba in your body system. In fact, I shudder to think of how we used to survive, how humanity used to survive without the medical science that we have today. I mean, people would be sick, probably it's malaria because of the mosquitoes. And they will attribute malaria to some gods or some thing. And people will actually die by their droves. Because... There is a hindrance or there is a limitation we are unaware of. Today, militaries around the world, they spend top dollar, not on hardware and software. They spend top dollar on intelligence, on knowing the enemy, knowing the enemy, either within or without. They spend quite a bit of money to understand that. And so if you wanted to know that there is a blockade in your life, you've got to have some kind of intelligence, some kind of information towards it. Because the things that hinder us, hindrances to our success, are things internal and things external, but they are also things known and also things unknown. It is the area of my ignorance that I fail. It is in the area of my ignorance that I am limited. It is in the area of my ignorance that I have a blockade that is stopping me from breaking out and breaking forth and becoming the man that God meant me to be. These hindrances, these things that I'm unaware of, they work in the background. Imagine they are alive. They are operating just like my heart is pumping. I don't know how, how many times my heart has pumped right now. But it is pumping. I don't know how much, how fast the blood is flowing within, in, within my veins. But they are flowing. It is flowing. I don't know how much the kidneys and the liver. I don't know. But we know through medical science that they are working. Now imagine that there is an enemy working against you. And you are comfortable and you do not know. Probably, by the way, the most sinister thing about this is that you might even be participating together with the enemy to hinder, to block your own success. And you're unconscious of the fact. You're unconscious of the fact that there is a mental blockade. You're unconscious of the fact that there is a, a cultural blockade. There is a spiritual blockade. There is an experiential blockade. You're unconscious of the fact that there is a self-concept blockade. And therefore, you are, you are limited. These blockades are things that are there, alive. It is like software. 
you don't see it but it is pretty much responsible for the outcomes that we have on the surface every waking day to be unaware of these things it is to be disadvantaged a lot and I could easily explain why many people that are hard working genuinely hard working are so disillusioned by not seeing the fruits of their labor i worked hard i tried i proposed i did everything that there is to do so we think and we are not successful yet chances are that there could be something operating in the background they have always used this big time analogy of the iceberg the analogy of the iceberg is absolutely instructive we see just a fraction of of that thing on on the surface it just comes on the surface just see a, a very small fraction actually 3 quarters of the thing is below the surface what we do not see is actually the larger percentage of that particular iceberg and what we, what we do not see sometimes it is what is responsible it is responsible for our limitations these are the blockades that i'm talking about these things unseen have an uncanny way of dictating the things that we see or things that we will never see by the way things such as our thoughts our attitudes our dispositions cannot be seen but the results can either be seen or unseen also negative thoughts for example limitation limited lim- limiting thoughts they will create things or they create parameters or a circumference or a perimeter we use the word perimeter like jack bauer they create a perimeter around which you can only operate and the things that we could be the people who could become things we could make projects we could be able to make come to pass they will never be seen because there is an insidious enemy within called a blockade which we might even be participating and feeding unless we start acting unless we know where they are and we start moving to remove them we are pretty much dictated by the unseen this is why it's important to consider any kind of hint of a blockade that might be existing inside of our lives and i want us to probably start talking about these hints one by one in the episode tomorrow seven hints i'm going to look at them one by one and some of them you already know we've already discussed them and then when we come to a close you'll be able to diagnose yourself for now think about that that chances are that there's something alive imagine if someone puts a virus in your laptop it's operating it's limiting the laptop from operating and you don't know you will just see later on that's the same thing that's the same analogy can use it could be there is a virus of sorts there's a blockade of sorts that's operating in our lives and we don't know so tomorrow we we'll go deeper until then bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.